Hello, my name is Jeannie Clark. I'm a visual artist and my practice includes drawing, painting and fine art printmaking. I have 40 years experience teaching and I offer very recently online workshops for people at all stage of the, stages of their creative journey. I'm making this uh, little video uh, for um, Open Studios Knots um, and as part of Open Studios Knots, I'll be offering um, online workshops, which you can tune into uh, for free. Um, you can find my details of my workshops also on my website, which is genieclark.co.uk. And on my website and Instagram, clark.genie, um, you also find examples of my, my own artwork and my own printmaking. Today I'm going to show um, printmaking techniques which combine jelly plates and um, lino cut techniques. I'm going to combine both a jelly plate print and a lino cut uh, plate to create one whole print. Um, I'll be using Caliga Safe Watch inks, um, and the inks um, I'll actually be mixing with Caliga Extender. You can buy um, Caliga inks from Intaglio Printmaker um, online um, and also Cass Arts. First of all, I'm actually going to roll on my ink. I'm going to pick up some of the yellow and the blue ink and roll it in one particular direction. Put a bit more ink. Gradually, as I keep rolling, the inks will mix and to get a slight change in colour I rock my roller to one side. I'm now going to roller my jelly plate. Jelly plates are very very tactile and they pick up even the most sensitive uh, amounts of detail on the plate. I'm actually going to start in the middle of the plate and roll her forward. Keeping rollering all of the time in one direction. Rolling until the plate has been thoroughly covered. Just going to pause the video while I change. I've now rolled a new plate, ink making plate with black Caliga ink. And again, once again, mixed with um, extender, a small amount of extender. And now I'm going to use my roller to ink up my lino cut plate. I've had my lino resting on an old book. It helps to keep my work area quite clean. Rollering up to make sure that the, the liner is actually sufficiently covered in ink to be able to sort of print. Next, I'm going to pick up my lino very carefully place the 
lino. onto my jelly plate and just press down. You don't need a great deal of pressure because the, the jelly plate actually picks up an enormous amount of detail in a very short space of time. So I'm ready to remove this now, lift the, the, the liner off the jelly plate Just going to wipe my hands. Pick up the second part of my lino cut and place that onto the jelly plate. And once again, press down. The paper that I'm using to print with is just photocopy paper. I could use Japanese uh, paper, but if you're just learning or experimenting with printmaker, printmaking, I suggest that you use um, photocopy paper to start with to get the idea of making your prints and feeling confident. And once you're confident, you can actually spend a little bit more money on, on, on expensive paper. This is a good way to proof your prints, just to see how they will come out, to see how successful both your lino cut is and also your jelly plate. Um, as you can see at the moment, I'm actually printing without a press and the jelly plate offers an advantage for this because the jelly plate is incredibly sensitive at actually picking up detail. So effectively, this is a transfer print. So that's an example of a jelly plate print and a lino cut. Thank you for listening.